What's up everyone, I'm Adam and today I'm going to be discussing an Infinite Warfare news video for you. Recently I did post a video saying that I'd quit Infinite Warfare and I wasn't going to play it and I cancelled the pre-order. That still stands, but from the beta, Infinite would have actually changed a lot of things which might make a bit of a difference to those still playing Infinite Warfare. Now being a COD channel that I started off, that's what I did for the first year of doing YouTube and videos and that, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Oh yeah, I feel as though I need to make this video because I'm not going to come back to Infinite Warfare as of yet. I st I'm still going to wait it out, but eventually, like after a few months, I might be able to get it really cheap from somewhere. And uh, I want to see how it pans out for the first month or so, and then I might make a decision to come back and play it later on. Uh, although, I probably won't be able to play uh, Modern Warfare Remastered unless they release it on the uh, Microsoft Store. But anyway, into the video um, regarding the update. Now, there's a Reddit post which I'll put in the uh, in the description of this video, and it describes how uh, over the two weekends the beta was they were testing the matchmaking systems, multiplayer multiplayer servers, and uh, we've got a bit of information regarding a lot of the the stuff from multiplayer, like streaks and uh, weapons and that. So, judging from this Reddit post, there's a great deal that's changed from the beta. The shotguns have actually been buffed. They've increased the consistency of shotgun damage. Uh, the shotgun damage at longer range has been increased, and the increased the one-shot kill range. And the Reaver and Banshee have received a slight bonus to their one-trigger pull kill range. So if you use the uh, the shotguns in the beta, you will know that the um, shotguns weren't very good. They were very inconsistent. You could one-shot people from a long way away, and uh, not even one-shot kill them from like point blank. So that's a bit of uh, information about the shotguns. Snipers have been nerfed a lot. Uh, snipers were very, very good in the beta. Um, I I made a sniping video. That was the first uh, beta gameplay video I did on my channel of me using the uh, the KBS longbow on terminal map. But um, the bullet spread at the hip no longer gets smaller as the player aimed down sights. Once the scope reaches the eye, the bullet spread goes instantly to zero. So pretty much when you zoom in. The uh, on the previous COD and in the beta, the um, the hip spread would get slightly smaller. Uh, it'll be con it'll be a consistent decrease until it reaches the player's eye. It's going to be the uh, the hip fire spread will be constantly the same until it reaches your eye. So that's very very important for uh, quick scopers and snipers like uh, who who enjoy getting clips and feeds. You can no longer black scope, so you, you've got to make sure that you're aiming down sight now. Uh, the sniper aim assist has been um, reduced for the longbow and some other snipers. I feel as though it's going to make a big difference to, uh, to to some players because anyone could pick up a sniper and snipe in the beta. You can you now have more flinch when getting shot by other weapons, so this could be big. Um, similarly to Black Ops 3, there was no such thing as the um, as the focus perk or the um, toughness perk which was from Black Ops 2. Uh, that pretty much just reduced your flinch and helped you in more gunfights. That wasn't in um, Black Ops 3. I think people got used to it eventually, but the, they have this perk in Infinite Warfare called Marksman, which reduces the flinch on snipers a lot. So I think it's going to it's going to affect some people quite a bit. The launchers have been buffed and they and they can the how it's a launcher can now be fired from the hip. Uh, the SMGs have been nerfed the uh, the Ripper variant which was the RPR Evo uh, it's now got more recoil health and regen spawning this is an important one the health regen time has been reduced uh, because I heard a lot of complaints and me included and um, the health regen time was extremely low in the Infinite Warfare beta uh, so when you got killed on the uh, on the kill cam it would show you who's hit you and how many times have hit you and I would be seeing people in my kill cam that have hit me from like a good 30 seconds ago and it was still there like so the health regen time has been reduced that's very good uh, it'll help with the time to kill a little bit they've refined spawnings they they are continuing to refine spawn systems on beta maps uh, will assess the remaining launch maps in live environment so that's going to help a lot of people who are getting spawn killed they have changed the salvage gain which uh, which is pretty pretty cool because getting salvage in uh, the beta was very very difficult 
it was almost non-existent up to the point where you couldn't even get some of those rare variants unless you got them in supply drops. They've changed the currency value in supply drops and they've increased the drop rate of keys. So to open supply drops you had to get keys, uh, obviously. So they've now uh, increased, they've now decreased the rarity of them, which is pretty good. They've changed some score streaks. They've changed the splash damage from a lot of these, uh, a lot of these score streaks because the score streaks weren't particularly very good. They've changed some game modes. The gun game game mode now features all the classic weapons instead of just uh, two or three. Here we go. Matchmaking and time to kill. We're getting there. We're getting there eventually. <sighs> Important ones now. Matchmaking. Potential player evaluation was too strict. They are now testing connection to other players before placing you in a lobby. They have now also fixed the incorrect geographic categorization. There was an issue in which the geological system was causing some players to be incorrectly categorized. This means that some people from like the England were being put in servers from the USA. They're doing lobby cleanups and. Uh, the matchmaker, here we go, there's another one. The matchmaker was also always quite good at generating new lobbies, but one thing they noticed was the queuing into a join progress situation was taking much longer. This was due to some issues in the way we track information about the lobbies that are currently playing a match. These issues were also addressed during the beta and sped up the join and progress case Im immensely. So now they join, join lobbies a lot faster. Here we go, time to kill and engagement. Right, this is from Infinity Ward. We know a lot of you had a different experience with Time to Kill during the beta. With the above adjustments to dedicated servers, matchmaking, weapon tuning, we now think you will find the Time to Kill be more balanced at launch, both on the attacking and receiving end. We will continue to monitor and balance throughout the year as need and would love your feedback in the progress in the process, sorry. So now the Time to Kill is going to be a lot more balanced for both the attacker and the uh, the receiver as such. Um, so there were some games where I was like, oh, I think like my my top gameplay was like 35 and six or something in the beta, and I think I, I was very. I felt like I was taking I was I felt like I was sponging more bullets than I was putting into other people, so I would feel like I was shooting some guy four times and then they would shoot me like five or six and I still wouldn't die. So that's very good because you know you can also be on the receiving end. It's very good. And um, here we go, dedicated servers. One of the major infrastructure changes um, was how dedicated server allocations work. They're now using a load balancing system on the servers as well as heavily changed how the game chooses a data center to use and request a dedicated server from that data center. So now the dedicated server is going to work a lot better, they're going to be a lot smoother and it's going to be a much more enjoyable experience than before. At the start of the beta, you may, you may have noticed some host migrations and some poorer quality matches. We discovered some issues where the new system was dropping our dedicated server utilization numbers way below target. After some tweaks and fixes, they were now dramatically able to improve the dedicated server utilization for the second weekend and beyond. So, dedicated server is going to work better, connection is going to be great, time to kill is going to be pretty high, or well, balanced in s as such. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to make this video because... Um, uh, it's not going to be on a usual Wednesday or Saturday. I actually found this out the um, the day that I quit Infinite Warfare, which was kind of annoying. But I mean, I'm going to see how it pans out, how COD Infinite Warfare develops throughout the next few months or so. And I will probably pick it up at a decreased price at some point, which would be very, very nice. Infinite Warfare, I, I want it to do well, I want, it, I want Infinite Warfare to do well, I don't want it to be bad, I want it to be the best card it can be, and and I feel as though Infinite Warfare are probably going to start listening to the uh, community more, and they're going to put some changes into the game which we all want to see. Apart from the snipers, snipers are going to have a tough time this year, but apart from that, that's the patch notes. Um, I'll put a link so you can look at them yourself, which, yeah. That's pretty much in the video. If you uh, enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe for more gaming videos. I'm doing Battlefield at the moment. I'm concentrating on that. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.